Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. This video has been very, very anticipated by a lot of you and I have been wanting to finish this and get it out to you for so long. Um, I've been working on this project for a really long time. Today we're gonna be making the fully readable Herbology book. So this is kind of like uh, a companion to my uh, uh, pocket book of spells. I kind of want to keep doing this and make like just a bunch of different little pocket book of uh, books <laughs> and then they'll be like you know just things you can carry around with you put together yourself easily at home and yeah the problem is um, a lot of my templates have been being sold so it's hard for me to make a decision to put all of these templates out for you things like this that I spend so much time and work on only for people to steal the designs and sell them themselves. So, I mean, I, I do wanna make this free for you guys, just like I do with all of my other templates, so I will. So for this first week that this is gonna be out, it's gonna be completely open for anyone to download and anyone to print out and have a personal copy for themselves. No selling my work, but um, after that week, I'm going to move it to Patreon and then it's just going to be a patron exclusive. So if you are watching this video, after this first week of, of, of it being on YouTube, you're probably gonna have to go to Patreon to get these templates. And I think for a lot of the larger projects like this, that's kind of what I'm, I'm gonna wanna do. That's sort of like the compromise here. I just don't know how to deal with uh, these people who are selling my stuff online. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. If you have a good idea of how to do it in a different way, let me know, I guess. But this is what I've decided and this is how it's gonna be unless something better comes along. Okay, so all of that out of the way, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this DIY. First, you're going to want to download and print the templates. There should be quite a few pages, and the PDF file that I have is laid out in just the right way so that if you print them double-sided and you keep them in the same order as you did when you printed them out, then the book will be put together properly. Um, also, the cover page I have printed on cardstock. Um, yeah. So this is gonna be a pretty simple thing to put together. We are just going to take a uh, long reach stapler. If you, have, if you don't have one of these and you just have a regular stapler, you can do it that way. Um, you would just have to open the stapler up and, and staple them like right in the middle and then flip it over and, and maybe close the staples in um, afterwards. But it's much easier with a long reach stapler. So this is printed on eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Um, you can also print it on A4, you're just going to have to cut it down to size afterwards. So we're going to want to set our long reach at five and a half inches so that we have it like right in the center. Slide all the pages in there, hold them together as best as you can, and then we're going to staple it right here in the middle in two spots. All right, so now we have our staples in. So the next thing we want to do is fold everything in half right where we stapled. So at this point you should be right here and then obviously the, the last step would be to trim off the white space from around the edges. And um, I do have a, a nice like heavy duty uh, paper cutter that would cut through all of this but not a lot of people have that. So another way you can do it is with a ruler and X-Acto knife. Um, you're just going to line up where you want to cut, which should be just a little bit inside here. And then you'll just take your X-Acto knife and just go over this. And you're just going to keep going over it and over it, being very careful. And just keep doing that until you've cut through all of the pages. You can sort of push them away as you go just to make sure that you've, you've got them cut. There we go. Okay, so I've cut through all of the pages and you can sort of flip through and just make sure that there's no white and there's not. So yeah, just do that again on the top and the bottom.
there we go. This is what your herbology book should look like. And it is 68 pages, I believe. Um, totally fully readable, fully uh, full color illustrations in here. Um, and yeah, so yeah, this is a companion book to the practical pocketbook of spells that I've already done once. Um, and yeah, this is Herbology. I want to kind of keep this going as a series and maybe do a uh, practical pocket book of potions and other things like that. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this one. Like I said, this is a, um, a series of books. Um, I've got my spell book and my Herbology book. Both of these are just close to 60 give or take pages. These are actually completely original designs by me. Um, I even made up the characters who wrote these. So the spell book, I made up the character uh, Dervis McCaslin, who wrote this book um, for Bogmire University of Advanced Magic. It's sort of like a wizarding college, um, a place where uh, witches and wizards might go after Hogwarts to further their studies. Um, I wrote the, his foreword. Um, I, I know that's spelled wrong. I'll have to fix that. But um, yeah, and then I also have the Herbology book written by Agnes Warthowl. And yeah, she's got her introduction in here as well. So yeah, they're, they're very similar. They're just different subjects written by professors at a wizarding college. And that's basically just, you know, my own little story behind them. Like I said, completely original designs. Neither one of these contain copyright copywritten materials so i'm going to actually be selling both of these books on my etsy shop at the time of filming this my etsy shop is currently closed so as i uh kind of stock up on some of these things that i want to sell and then i'm going to open up and sell hopefully within the next couple of weeks um, by the time you watch this video though it, um, it might already be open so go ahead and check out the description box for a link to my etsy shop and you can just kind of check and see if it's open and if there's any for sale i will be selling them individually as well as a pair um, if you buy the pair uh, it's going to be a bit cheaper um, i'm i'm not quite sure what the price on these is going to be just yet but go ahead and check out my etsy if you are interested I really hope you guys liked this video. This project was really fun for me to design and put together and it took so long, but I think the wait was worth it, at least for me. So um, if any of you would like to have a chance at winning the book that I made in this video today, there is a giveaway link in the description box below. So go ahead and head down there. Um, down there you're also going to find a giveaway link for my 50K giveaway, which is a Muggle Magic Mystery Box. It just contains a bunch of stuff that I've gotten throughout the past year or so from subscription boxes, as well as two exclusive items by me. So if that's something that you want a chance at winning, the giveaway, giveaway link for that is down there as well. And now to announce the winner of my previous giveaway, which was for the Bezoars box, and the winner is Martin Wolf. Congratulations, and I have sent you an email with instructions on how you can claim your prize. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.